All right, guys, we're doing our weekly update video for the DYKB. Um, this week was a very, very productive week. We brought on about six volunteers. Um, two of them have turned their paperwork in. We're waiting for their welcome video to come in. Um, we'll be able to announce them to you. Uh, but the reading program is off and running. We're looking at the first meeting going to be February 1st uh, virtually. We'll probably record that meeting and we'll get to talk to our social media people and see if we can have them kind of chop up and break down the meetings so we can get those out as well. Uh, the parts that would be a good service for the, for the public and community to see. We are at 99 bags, guys, um, as far as our 200 bags that we had bought um, goods for. Um, most of you already know at the end of the year, we kind of tally up what we have left over within the bank account. And we go and we shop and uh, put together um, care bags for those that's in need. And that's not just necessarily the homeless. We do pass them out to the homeless, but there's also um, other families that we come across or individuals that we come across that's just in need of a little pick-me-up at the time. Uh, and we bless them with it. Right now, we're looking at over 45 items. I want to spend a, send a special shout out to Teresa Travis and family, uh, Danilia Hunley and family, Renee Stewart and family. Um, off the top of my head, those are three individuals as, as well as their families that have really come out and shown support for the DYKB from ordering different things from uh, Sam's Club and Costco uh, and dropping them off to us, as well as doing their corporate um, donation where you can sign up with, um, it's not UNICEF, who is it? United Way, we were with you, we're connected with United Way. You can sign up um, with your business or through your work um, for the donation that you wanna give towards a nonprofit. And our EIN number is 84-400-1989. Uh, and you too can donate. Um, and that's really great. Trust me, it's really great. It, it, it's, a, it's the lifeblood of what we do over here. Um, okay, so that's the reading program and that's our donations. Um, we have a fundraiser running live right now on Facebook. Um, I will probably drop and add to it uh, in the video so you can check it out. We're trying to raise $1,300 uh, right now to pay for the permits and fees for Solano County in order to host a cooking competition. The details of the cooking competition are still secret. Don't tell anybody. We're not letting anybody know. I'm going to tell you this. If you got some skills on the grill that can pay some bills, you know the deal. You feel me? It's going to be good, though. Um, we're going to have vendors there. Uh, we're going to be doing raffles. We're going to do giveaways. Uh, but the theme of the entire event is just community. It's 2024. It's an election year. There's wars all over. Several wars our country is, is, is into. Whatever you feel about that, great. Keep it to yourself. Uh, but we're going to get on this community hype and try to bring some brother, some people together, man, uh, in the way that Christ wants us to do and just show love. Does that mean that if you don't believe in Jesus, you can't come? No, come. <laughs> Break some bread. Let's just meet each other. Let's just be cool, okay? But January, or July 13th is our target date. We can't an officially announce it until uh, the permits are done. And we need a little help with that. Uh, so we're definitely coming to you guys online as well as part of our community to uh, drop a couple of ducats in the bucket. That's how things get done. Um, on top of that, we are looking at that 2026 um, youth kickball league and we are taking strides toward it each and every day um, at our community events it's a great time to get come and get to know us and to meet us and say hello and shake hands on the end of each month we have a zoom call that we'll be doing for uh, the local community and you know we might share it online too because i know some of you guys are following from different and various uh, places and you know what at the end of the day um everybody should have the opportunity to chime in, right? And so with the Kickball League, um, it's something that we've been working on. It's been a passion of mine after about nine years of coaching and meeting some outstanding coaches, uh, athletic directors, um, and league directors like Toriano Sanderson. Um, I understand that this is my calling and my gift to give back. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I've been trained up by some real Jedi masters and, um, being a part of the National Association of Youth Coaches as well, 
I'm done with football. I'm done with basketball and baseball. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of leagues out there for people to join, but we're going to go with the educational route. We're going to focus on um, energy. We're going to focus on stretching. We're going to focus on team building. We're going to focus on camaraderie. We're going to focus on skills. Um, all of the things that we're going to be doing within the kickball league is going to be directly transferable into whatever type of sport or activity your child's going to want to get into. But guess what? If you want to get away from all of the cussing, the smoking, the drinking that happens in between games and at games, if you want to get a, get away from all the fighting, the arguing, uh, uh, um, the gang type mentality about, oh, I'm with this team and you're with that team and we hate you and all of that mess. And you just want to get your child into something that can get them up off of the game and get them moving. Something that there's naturally uh, uh, they're capable of that they you don't have to worry about serious harm or risk uh, to their body. But to prepare them to, to have enough wind or energy to when they get into those higher ages to be able to uh, perform and compete uh, with the best of them. Get them into something small uh, at, at the young age. And I'm saying between five and eight years old. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't let my children get into any kind of contact sports until at least 10 years old. But hey, that's just me. Uh, you do what you do. If you feel like at four years old they need to be hitting, go out there and let them hit at four. <laughs> There's nothing to do with me. But I'm just saying, man, the, the, the Youth Kickball League uh, 2026 is going to be a beautiful thing. And I really pray that you guys stick around and hang around and be witness to it. Because uh, we're also looking at bringing a new spin to things uh, as far as with everything with social media and whatnot. We really want a lot of these things to be online and be out there. And for the parents that think they still have it, it's going to be the perfect, perfect opportunity for you to do something with your child after work. Uh, and of course, that'll be out here in Solano County. But I'm not shy. I would love to talk with some people who want to bring something like this to their own community. I think it'll be great. Um, so this is our third week of January. Uh, my oldest daughter, Alana, her birthday's coming up. Super excited about that. Uh, we have our meeting on the 29th, our Zoom call. We'll probably add some information on here about that because it's already set. Um, we talked about the fundraiser. Um, let's talk about the t-shirts. So we have three official designs right now. We have one more coming. It's going to be four designs that will be dropping in February. And those t-shirts are going to be on pre-sale. The biggest thing about the t-shirts is that they take time to make. Therefore, we're going to set a certain amount of time. It's probably going to be about six to eight weeks to order. Um, and then all of the orders will come out the same week. Uh, all at the same time is what I'm trying to say. And so um, by you guys buying the t-shirts... One thing that it definitely does is it gives us the funding to put into the hands of the administrators over our program so they can run competitions and different things and get to the things that's necessary um, for the kids as a part of their program as well. Because uh, at the DYKB, um, we, we prop each other up. You know, our single goal is our mission statement. We want to be the stepping stone for the leaders of tomorrow to step upon our backs and get a boost up and move forward. And so, of course, we have a multitude of different programs and we have experts that are working in each and every one of those programs. Supporting the organization uh, is saying that you believe that a child deserves the opportunity to be great. That's it. Um, everything takes time. But if you feel like, you know what, Dennis, man, I haven't seen enough about your organization. I really don't know if I can put down this five dollars here. I think I need to take this five dollars and go do something else. I'm going to play buy a lotto ticket with it. I have a better chance to win the lotto than do that. <laughs> but if you feel like you can donate a couple of dollars, do it because we need it. I wouldn't be sitting there asking you for it if we didn't. Uh, up until this point, um, I have been a major uh, con contributor to the organization um, financially. And that's why we've been able to accomplish the things we've been able to accomplish. We've had people like Miss Renee Stewart, uh, Teresa Travis, uh, Danilia Hunley, uh, and to be honest with you, so many more that have given their time, their energy, their effort, and their money uh, to see us move forward. And each and every year, we've spent every single dime that has come into the organization on moving the organization forward uh, and on organizational things. I think that it'll be really great uh, for those within Solano County and the neighboring counties as well to be joining in our January 29th 
um, Zoom call because um, I would love to answer any questions that I need to answer in order to gain your support. We will also be sending out direct letters to local businesses and whatnot. And uh, I'm not a hater. If you feel like you, you can contribute or you can bring something on board or something that you would like to bring on board or, or you would like to at least pass by us, do it. Um, that doesn't mean you're going to get a yes, but you'll most definitely get our ear. Um, and, and at the same time, that doesn't mean that just because you, you donate or you come and you volunteer that we're going to deviate from our plan because it's not going to happen. Um, at the end of the day, each and every one of you guys are, are unique and special to me. I think that every person that listens, every person that watches, every person that follows, every person that shares deserves a thank you. And even though I may not know your name or I may not call you out directly, you have my gratitude without any question whatsoever. Um, if I could leave you with one thing today before we get off is that you're going to see a lot more of me. Um, I really love being on here with you guys and don't worry about what's going on in the world. Focus on who gave you life, who puts breath in your lungs and who keeps you alive while you sleep. The one who's really in control and you will be good. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you know. Put your foot forward. Work your effort to the fullest ability and understand that God gave you a gift. You work your gift. Don't try to give it to somebody else to work. Do your thing, baby.